Wow, I cannot believe this market. Um, I've been in real estate almost a decade now, and I have never seen anything like this market that we're seeing right now. It's just really crazy. I mean, I've got buyers calling me every day looking for things, and I just can't find what they're looking for. It's just crazy. I look over the stats every day, and I'm looking these over. And for example, this house here, this was on Christmas Mountain Road. They were asking $349. They got $360 for it. So they got $11,000 over ask in 12 days. Um, this one here is in uh, on Oak Street in Wisconsin Dells. And they were asking $179. And in five days, they got $182. So they got $3,000 over ask price with only being on the market for five days. Like I said, I've never seen anything like this before. This particular house too is on Serrington Road in Wisconsin Dells. They were asking $4.99 and in three days they got $5.29. So they got $30,000 over their ask price in three days. So things are selling faster than I've ever seen them sell and they're selling for more you know, over ask price than I've ever seen them sell before as well. Again, I can't believe this market. It's just crazy right now. Hello everyone, Andrew here with Kimball Realtors. And you know, the one question I get from everyone when they find out I'm a realtor, the one question I always get is, hey, Andrew, where do I get one of them great Kimball Realtors mugs? Well, as I tell them, all you have to do is buy or sell a home with Kimball Realtors and I'll give you one of these mugs for free. But seriously, the question that I always get and probably every realtor gets is, is this housing market going to crash? Are we in a bubble? And oftentimes it's not, is this gonna crash? Is when is it gonna crash? We have seen just really unprecedented year over year price increases on homes right now. For example, in Wisconsin Dells, uh, which is the main market that we work here, we work Wisconsin Dells, Lake Dalton, Baraboo, Reedsburg. But in Wisconsin Dells, in 2020, the median house price sold for $182,000. So far this year in 2021, the median house price has been $245,000. That's a $58,000 difference just year over year in the median price of a home in our area. And statistically, it's pretty much the same everywhere in our area. I kind of did all around the area to see, and that was, was pretty close statistically wise what it was year over year what it's gone up. In all throughout the country, this has happened. They've gone up just tremendously year over year. A big part of that is just demand. There is just not enough new homes being built for the demand that there is for single family homes right now. Now a lot of people think that that's going to cause, a lot of the experts that I'm hearing from think that that's going to cause the price now actually to kind of moderate because what's happening is the home builders, the, the construction companies that are building homes, they've kind of reached the peak on what they can charge for a single family home. But unfortunately, they're facing two problems. One, the cost of materials, if they're available, have also gone way up. So it's costing them more to build that home, making their profit margin smaller. And not only are their labor costs have gone up, just because of the way the labor market is right now, they've got to pay people more to build those homes, which is also making their profit margins smaller because again, we're kind of at the top of what they can get for a single family home. So their profit margin has gotten smaller because of the labor and the, the price of labor and the price of the materials. And not only that, just getting labor, being able to get people to come out to work. It's really been a problem that builders are, are facing. So with that, the demand is still more than the supply. It's starting to taper off though because unfortunately some of the home buyers have just decided they're going to get out of the market. They can't get what they want so they're coming out of the market. So we're seeing that cool off a little bit and that's kind of the reason that we're seeing it cool off. One of the things that has happened since the, the pandemic and I was one of the first ones when they started talking about doing shutdowns and you know they considered real estate essential so we didn't have to shut down at all but we did have to change the protocol we used for listing homes and for showing homes and we followed every one of them and, and a lot of sellers were hesitant to let strangers come into their house and i totally get that what we had always done was pre-qualify anyone coming through so we had serious buyers coming through we tried to make sure that we knew that house met what they were looking for versus you know it used to be you would take people around and show them literally 10 to 12 different homes 
and you even knew right away that most of those homes didn't meet the criteria they were looking for, but they wanted to see those homes. So we tried to qualify people more, make sure it was a home they were able to purchase and to check the boxes on what they were looking for. But still, sellers were reluctant to have strangers come in, home, in their home during the pandemic. That now, luckily, with more people being vaccinated and more people having immunity, have already had the, the coronavirus um, or COVID, um, that's not happening as much. But it still is that point where people are reluctant. Some people are reluctant to put their house on the market to have strangers coming through. Not only that, the more the bigger reason people are reluctant to put their home on the market is they don't have somewhere to go if they sell their house. So yes, they can get top dollar for their house right now, but they don't have somewhere to go because there's just nothing on the market. We've been dealing with multiple people that want to put their house on the market but they don't want to put it on the market until they have found a house that they can purchase because they know their house is going to sell very fast and then they have nowhere to go. So that has, hasn't really changed. It's, it's getting to the point where people are, it's cooling off some only because buyers are getting out of the market. Prices are not cooling off. I don't see that happening in this area. I'm very big on statistics, so I keep looking at all the statistics and I'm still seeing houses going for considerably over the ask price, multiple offers on most, when they do get accepted offer, there's multiple offers on most of them. So we're still seeing that. The only reason we're seeing a cooling a little bit is just buyers saying, hey, I just don't want, I'm, I'm just frustrated. I don't want to be in this anymore. Another thing that has affected the demand and people don't really talk about this aspect of it very much, but you know, flipping houses used to be a real big thing. You could buy a house at a low price and remodel that house and turn around and sell that. They call that flipping a house and people would literally be making a living flipping houses doing that. Uh, you see a lot of TV shows with people doing the flipping of the houses. You're not seeing that nearly as much anymore because the people that were doing the flipping of houses, they had to buy a house at a very low price in order to have that profit margin for them to be able to flip it. They also had to be able to get their materials for it at a reasonable price in order for there to be any profit margin for them to flip it. So you're not seeing before when a lower priced house came on the market, part of the people who were putting the offers in on that house would be someone who was looking at flipping that house. So the prices have gone up to where there's really not the profit margin in there for the flippers. And that has actually, like I said, caused some of the demand on those lower price houses to go off because also when someone's considered flipping a house, if it's 30% more for materials right now, that's gonna come right out of that price they're gonna be able to get for that house. So that's something that you haven't heard a lot of people talking about, but it definitely is affecting our market. And in some ways, it's kind of good for, say, a first time home buyer because they don't have that competition with someone who is just looking to buy that house to flip that. So I hope I give you some good information today. Hey, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. If you liked what I had to tell you, smash that like button. Give us any comments at all. Again, uh, Kimball Realtors of Wisconsin Dells. Hope we gave you some great information. And don't forget, like I said in the beginning, buy or sell a home through Kimball Realtors and we'll give you a free coffee mug. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.